Hey everyone, welcome back. We're doing this, huh? This is my review of the new anime series, Wanna Be the Strongest in the World, Episode 1. Uh, okay, let's get this over with then. Why am I such a fucking masochist? Okay, so, from what I gathered, on our by the on the plot of this year of this episode, our main character is Sakura Hagiyawa or, or Hagiyawa or something like that. She's Sakura, okay. A big kitted idol who's trying to break into pro wrestling. That's pretty much it. Uh, it's yeah. What? do I have to say? I mean, it's by ARMS, so that's, that that should be a good indication for a while, but ARMS has done good shit. I loved Elf and Leaf, but this is just painful, and I'm gonna have to sit through 12 episodes of this shit. So, yes. Uh, the basic premise is that at the beginning of this uh, series, we get a match, which that's is also this is the same exact match at the end of this episode. I said series for this episode. Um, basically, basically that was just the beginning of this that the beginning of this episode was just showing it at first, and then we go back to see how they got that far, basically. And she gets her ass handed to her in that fight, by the way. Um, but the idol group that she and that she and her uh best friend, I forget what her name is, I really don't fucking care either, are choosing idols to be pro, to become pro wrestlers, and both of them agree to it, and kits, and boners, and shit, yeah, that, god, I need a drink. And that's basically it. Um, I mean, there's it's clue. I mean, it, okay. At times, you would think, okay, this series knows what who it's aimed towards. It knows who it's trying to please. But at other times, it actually tries to be serious and fails. Like when uh, they're done with the, that match. This is something that wasn't shown at the beginning of the episode. Um, Sakura has to get her hair cut because her long haircut because that was the agreement of the match. I forget what it was I forget what it was called, but that was that's part of that specific match that they did. And at first I kind of felt sad because like, wow, she's actually going to get shaved bald, but no, she her hair just got cut shorter. It's basically like my hair goes all the way down to here. Um her hair was like slight maybe as long as mine or slightly less or slightly shorter than mine, so, when, after it got cut, so, yeah, it just got cut shorter, which means she could probably still be an idol if she wanted to, but no, she wants revenge now, and she, so she wants to be, become the strongest pro wrestler in the world, and blah, 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 this is gonna be a doozy, isn't it, wow, <laughs> best enemy of the season, yeah, right, um, and that's pretty, pretty much it, the animation is, better than it has any business being. <laughs> okay. I guess not great, but it's still way better than it has any bu bu business being. Okay. And... The music is for mostly forgettable, except for the opening song is actually really good, I think. And, again, it doesn't have any business being that. And I haven't actually watched the ending yet, so I don't know how, how the ending song sounds. Right, but... That's pretty much it. Um, overall, <laughs> yeah, like I said before, this is gonna be a real doozy. Uh, episode rating overall, it was bad, <laughs> really bad. It's arms, and arms usually does bad shit. Okay, like Iki Tosin. Hello. As much as I liked Elf and Lead, there were things in it that pissed me off. Roy Royal piss Lee pissed me off, and that was Arms. So yeah. But anyways, overall, hope you enjoyed this review, guys. See you after, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.